Hello, this is Jeremy with Easy Coordinator, and this video is going to show you how to set up your sub users in a premium level account. Once you've logged in, click on the admin tab, and then I'm going to click on sub accounts. And to set up a user, all you have to do is type in an email address. Put their name in. Select an office if they're associated with an office. Select a role. We have three roles that are set up in Easy Coordinator. These are intended to just apply to the different levels of users within your system. So a broker would be a top level user. A coordinator would be next level. An agent would be the level below that. So let's add this user as an agent. And then there's a subject line here which you can customize as well as a message. And when I hit save, that user is going to be sent an email with their login information. The list of my sub-users will be here down below, and you can always edit them if you've made a mistake, as well as it'll show you when they logged into the system. So if they, for some reason, don't get their email, you can click this resend button, and it'll resend an email to them. Now let's show you how to set up permissions for those users. So I'm going to go into sub-account roles, and you can see in here, here's my three roles that I just went over, broker, coordinator, and agent. And then I've got various different access for each section of the page. So the edit, contacts, documents, tasks, and notes, each of those sections applies to a transaction. So let's take a look at a transaction and see how that relates. So the edit section is this top portion up here that allows me to edit it when I click on this edit button. The additional contacts is next. The documents is below that then the tasks, and then the notes. So each of those sections applies to an area in the admin section that you can set permissions for. So for brokers, I'm going to give them full access across the entire application and the entire transaction. For coordinators, we're going to give them full access for most of the transaction, and we'll give them view-only access for some. And then for agents, we're going to just go ahead and do view-only and we're going to block them on the notes. So this would be how you'd set up your permissions. So they'll have the ability, for example, as an agent, to see uh, each one of these sections that's marked in view only, but they will not see the notes section when they load a transaction. And for full access, the coordinator and the broker are obviously going to have full ability to edit the transaction um, just, like you're, just like is available to you. And that's how you set up your sub-accounts as well as your sub-account roles in Easy Coordinator.